So, we have a given. Yung given po natin na diameter of hole is 26 mm. So, ngayon, 26 mm. Sa hanapin ko siya, M26. So, wala tayong 26 mm. Kaya lang makikita natin siya ay nagpo-fall between these values. No? So, ngayon, makikita natin 24 at saka 27. Mayroon tayong plus 3 na difference. So, meron tayo dito 27 at 30. Meron tayong plus 3 na difference. So, therefore, we could infer na between 24 and 27 na values, magkakaroon din tayo na nominal whole dimensions na mayroong plus 3. No? Or that is simply our interpolation. So, yun yung ginagawa natin sa interpolation. So, a little bit of background lang sa interpolation. So, kung tayo ay mayroong linear interpolation, so, ibig sabihin, kung drawing natin siya sa ating Cartesian plane, meron tayong X, meron tayong Y. So, kunyari, mayroon akong value wherein kada 1 ng X ko, kada 1 ng Y, meron akong ganyan, 2 and 2, so, meron akong ganyan, 3 and 3, so meron akong ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag tayo ay gumawa ng linear interpolation, so it only means na kung may given ako na 1 is to 1, 3 is to 3, so kung meron akong given na x value ng 2, ano kaya yung magiging value ko ng y natin? So, yun yung ginagawa natin sa interpolation. Yung given ako ng these values, so, pwede kong malaman yung mga values sa pagitan nito gamit yung known datas natin. No? So, ibig sabihin kung 1 is to 1 at 3 is to 3 lang yung given natin. Kaya kung malaban yung values natin, kahit na ito lang yung given natin. Okay? So, ganun din no? pagdating sa ating bolt diameter. Kung ang given natin ay 26, kung ang given natin ay 26 sa pagitan ng 24 at 27. So, therefore... We can infer na doon sa ating standard diameter, we'll have additional na 3 millimeters. So, so therefore, for our effective diameter, we'll have 26 plus 3 at ito po yung ating nominal diameter. And then, para naman po doon sa ating NSCP 2015, so kailangan pa po natin na additional 2 millimeters para makuha natin yung ating effective diameter. So, kailangan pa raw ng additional na 2 millimeters para makuha natin yung ating effective diameter. So, therefore, our effective diameter should be equal to 31 millimeters. So, ito po yung ating effective diameter para makuha natin yung ating area net. So, going back to our problem, so therefore, we could definitely solve for our net area. No? So, alam naman natin yung ating net area, it is equal to gross area minus yung ating area of hole. So, ilan ba yung holes natin? So, meron lang tayong one hole in our path ABC. No? So, simulan muna natin doon sa ating gross sectional area. So, therefore, yung ating gross sectional area daw, it is simply equal to this length multiplied dito sa ating length na to. So, so, kung itong length na to ay A plus G plus A, so, therefore, meron tayong A plus G plus A, which is equal to 40 plus 60 plus 40. So, this length is equal to 140 millimeters. And then, ito naman po, yun yung ating thickness ng plate, and yung thickness ng plate natin, it is equal to 20 millimeters. So, so, therefore, our gross area should be equal to this height multiplied to this thickness. So, therefore, meron po tayong 140 millimeters multiplied doon sa ating 20 millimeters. So, therefore, our gross area is equal to 2,800 square millimeters. So, meron na tayong gross area. So, now it's time for us to solve for our area of holes. So, doon naman sa ating area of holes. So, meron po tayong isang butas. So, meron tayong 1. Tapos, imumultiply lang natin siya doon sa ating effective diameter multiplied doon sa ating 
thickness of the plate. So, ano po ba yung ating effective diameter? So, ayun. Na-solve na natin kanina. We have 31 millimeters multiplied doon sa thickness of the plate. So, ano po ba yung thickness of the plate natin? We have 20 millimeters. So, therefore, our area of holes should be equal to 620 square millimeters. So, meron na tayong gross area. Meron na tayong area of hose. So, therefore, we could definitely solve for our net area. So, yung net area po natin, it is simply equal to area gross 2,800 minus yung ating area of hose. So, sulat na natin, 2,800 minus yung ating area of hose. So, therefore, our net area is simply equal to 2,180 square millimeters. So, ito na po ba yung sagot natin? So, hindi pa ito yung sagot natin, no? Dahil, kung maaalala natin dun sa critical area natin para ma-determine natin siya, i-compare natin yung mode of failure ng ating plate wherein meron tayong zero holes or meron tayong one hole or meron tayong two holes ng pagkapunit. And again, we are not interested dun sa ating yielding kasi yun yung zero holes. So, gusto natin malaman kung yung pagkapunit or yung net area natin, yung tensile rupture stress natin kapag mayroon tayong holes na involved. No? So, ngayon, yung path ABC natin, meron tayong pagkapunit sa isang hole. So, itry naman natin ngayon kung mapupunit ay 